going live now. Again, this is December 28th, 2017. We are basically thanking you all for attending the Gagat Life-Saving and Riemann Hypothesis Briefing, and we'd like to share with you all the God Order News. That God Order News is that God has ordained a black man, Professor Gioibo, with the ultimate intelligence of eta sub infinity. Eta sub n exactly represents intelligence, and n the level of intelligence, which God designed for Professor Gioibo n to be infinity, hence eta sub infinity for Professor Oibo. Since black people share the same genes as Professor Gioibo, God has reordained the black race as the most intelligent, richest, and most undefeatable race. God Almighty's Grand Unified Theorem, nicknamed Gagat, is a revelation from God, which infallibly proved that all theorems, also called everything that exists, and all equations, also called morphisms, which can be isomorphisms or polymorphisms, past, present, and future, originate out of one invariant, GI, defined as God. In mathematics, you can choose any term or quantity to define a quantity. Just because Gaga defined GI to be God doesn't automatically prove that it is God. An example one can say is that milk originates out of the store. If the store is the ultimate origin point to the milk, you can replace the term originate out of with its equivalent created by. We all know, however, that milk does not originate out of the stores. It originates out of the cows. So we cannot use the term originates out of in that case, nor can you replace the term originates out of with created by for the store. Gaga infallibly proved, however, that GI is the ultimate origin of all theorems called everything that exists. So the phrase originates out of can be replaced with the term created by which proves that GI defined here represents God, since God can be defined as the creator of everything. Now that God has been infallibly defined by GIJ, God's existence is the next thing that has to be infallibly proven, and can be infallibly proven if God can prove that something exists. As difficult as that sounds, that acts as the easiest of the proof, which can be easily done by showing that a human being exists like yourselves and myself. Existence of a human being is the proof of the existence of GIJ, because the GIJ has been infallibly proven to be the ultimate origin of everything. Therefore, because a human being exists, it infallibly proves the existence of the GIJ, which previously has been infallibly proven to be the definition of God. Therefore, the existence of human beings infallibly proves the existence of God. Now morphisms, which we represented before, talked about before earlier, they can be either isomorphisms or polymorphisms. In mathematics, they're more commonly known as equations. What they do is they map realities onto a mathematical space, similar to how our eyes, ears, and other senses are able to process and map data and get realities onto our brains. And when we use these polymorphisms or isomorphisms, we are basically processing that information and understanding it. And that, in effect, is a measure of intelligence. Since GIJ, which we previously infallibly defined God, has the totality of all equations, GIJ and hence God constitutes the totality of all intelligence. The Gaga solution, known as eta sub n, which all come out of Gij or God, fundamentally represents all isomorphisms as well as all polymorphisms, and therefore contains all of intelligence, and hence infallibly proved that God not only contains all of intelligence, but God is all of intelligence. God has amazingly planted all of those eta sub n's and also know all of intelligence inside the brains of Professor Gabriel Audu Oyibo, and has blessed him with the ultimate or totality of all intelligence with which to understand God or everything. This is how 
Todd or Dame Professor Gio Yibo, with the totality of all intelligence, or what we call here in OFAPIC Institute of Technology, the ultimate intelligence, which can be stated as God has ordained Professor Gio Yibo to be the greatest genius and the most intelligent human being ever created. Since the black race, like ourselves, share the same genes as Professor Gio Yibo, God has ordained black people by extension to be the most intelligent race. And this has been confirmed by Gottingen University as well as Yale University's research study, which I'm going to be going over with you now. Gottingen study, I would like to bring your attention to the Gaussian 2005 celebration. I'm going to bring it up on your screen so you all can see it. Just bear with me for just a second. Can everyone see on this screen the, the Gaussian 2005 celebration? Miss Q? Hello? Miss Q, can you hear me? Hello, can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you, John. All right, just a second. We seem to have lost uh, Miss Pineco, just a second. Okay. Are you still there, Miss Q? Hello? Yes, I'm still here. Yes, uh, is your uh, is your other person, the other person that you said was going to be there? there? Yeah, I'm still here. Pra Praise God. What you're seeing here is a celebration from Gottingen University, uh, for oh, a German yeah. university. Praise God for that, sir. What you're seeing here is a celebration yeah. from Gottingen University, a German university, which before Gottingen was considered to be the headquarters of intelligence. One of the reasons why that was, was due to a mathematician by the name of Professor Karl Frederick Gauss, who headed the mathematics department at Gottingen. To understand who Gauss is, if you take a look, you see the page on, in front of you of Karl Frederick Peck Gauss from Wikipedia.
Can you see the page in front of you? Hello? Can you see the page of Gauss in front of you? Can you hear me? Can you please hear, uh, answer? Hello? Hello? I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, can you both see the Carl Frederick Gauss Wikipedia page in front of you? I'm sorry? I couldn't hear that. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, do you see the page of Gauss Wikipedia page in front of you? Yes, I do. Yes, what you're seeing here is the professor who they were respecting in terms of the Gauss year 2005 with the 150th commemoration of. If you look at the second paragraph, you'll see where it says Gauss is something as the Princeps Mathematorum, which in Latin translates to English, the foremost of mathematicians. You will also see where it says after that, the greatest mathematician since antiquity. This is who they were celebrating at Gottingen University. Can you both understand that point? Yes. And you, you understand? Yes. Praise God for that. So this is who they were celebrating in the Gauss 2005 celebration. They selected the greatest mathematics works from all over the world. And as you can see here in the list of the celebration on the Gottingen list, Gagat is selected as the number one work to honor Gauss. Can everyone see the NR 26? Week 26? Can everyone see that? Yes, I see it. Praise God for that. To understand this ranking better, you have to understand who has been in that ranking or the company in which Gagat keeps on this celebration list. If you scroll down to NR 19, what you'll see is Sir Michael Tia and Daniel Iago Nitzer Field Medalist Lectures. Can you all see that? It's circled by the mouse uh, cursor. Can you see that? Can you see it? Could you say that a little louder? I could not hear what you said. I see it. Praise God for that. So who is Michael Atiyah? Sir Professor Michael Atiyah, as you can see from his Wikipedia page, is a current-day mathematician specializing in geometry. But what's most important is in the second paragraph, which says he grew up in the Sudan and Egypt, spent most of his adult life in the United Kingdom and Oxford and Cambridge, and the United States in the Institute for Advanced Study. He had been the president of the Royal Society, but, uh, but most importantly, the master of Trinity College. Cambridge from 1997, sorry, 1990 to 1997. Can you all see that highlighted in blue? Yes. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can see it. You see all, bo both of you see it. Can you both see it? Hello? 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 
Yeah, done. Yeah, done. Okay. So what's important to understand here is that Sir Professor Michael Tia is a successor to another famous universe, uh, a prof uh, professor from Cambridge University who held that title of the Master Trinity College. That professor is Sir Professor Isaac Newton. Can you see his page in front of you right now? Not yet. You don't see the page of Newton in front of you? I see Carl Gauss. That's weird. I'm on Isaac Newton's page right now. You sure you don't see Isaac Newton on your screen in front of you now? Not yet. How about now? Do you see it now, Miss Q? No, I still see Carl Frederick. Try to refresh your screen. I, I don't understand why you're seeing that still. Okay. What do you see now? Okay. Um, I still see Carl Frederick now Wikipedia. Okay, I'm still seeing gals. I don't understand that. That's very weird. Let me try to get back on it again, just a second. Okay. How about now? What do you see? Miss Q, what do you see now? Um, I see the dot with like shoulder um image. What? I see the dot with like the shoulder image, like the uh, um the animated sign, I guess, of a, a body or whatever they call it. The Google image. I mean, I'm trying to Google Hangout image. Okay, how about now? What do you see? Uh, I don't see anything. Like Can you try to log out and log back in? Okay. Okay, Miss Q's in. Can you see the screen now, Miss Q? Not yet. But what are you seeing now, though? That same green dot with the circle and the shape of shoulders. I don't understand. What do 
you see now on the screen? Uh, same thing that that um. Okay, now I see you on the screen. Okay, please hold. I'm going to try now to get back the image of the page on the. Okay. okay. What now do you see? I'm still looking at you. What, can you describe what you're seeing? I don't understand. I'm looking at uh, uh, John Glover. You don't see a, a Wiki, uh, Wikipedia page for Newton? No, sir. It's a frozen image, your frozen uh, picture. And it's still my image now? Yes. How about now? Still there. What do you see now on your screen? That with the um, image of a person. Right, just a second. <clears throat> 